Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about a discovery of a relatively interesting asteroid. Now it's not very often that you actually hear about interesting asteroids being discovered nowadays because we discover so so many every single day. But this specific asteroid that you actually see on the screen right now is quite interesting in that it's actually the closest asteroid to the sun we've discovered so far. Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. Now here's actually a rough picture of the so-called near-Earth asteroids, also known as basically dangerous asteroids that could potentially hit Earth one day. There is a lot of them out there and we actually discover new ones every single day. But for the most part when we discover them they're usually beyond the orbit of Earth. In other words, they're coming from, well, either the asteroid belt or Martian regions or essentially farther away from the Sun than Earth itself. We don't usually discover asteroids coming from within, from um, the inner orbit of Earth, and we don't really look there that often. But uh, for many, many years, many scientists speculated that there's actually um, a kind of a type of asteroid known as the Vulcanoid asteroid, named after the hypothetical uh, planet Vulcan that people thought existed somewhere near the uh, orbit of Mercury, and uh, we believe that these Vulcanoid asteroids might be actually located around Mercury, and um, as of today we've discovered about 60 of them. Now, um, that's nothing compared to basically close to 900,000 asteroids we've discovered outside of Earth orbit. But very recently, specifically, the scientists from Caltech, and specifically the main investigator here is Quan Ji Ye, uh, discovered this beautiful rock that you see that um, is about a mile or 1.5 kilometers in diameter and is located between the orbits of Mercury and Venus. And this rock, although not really dangerous or not the so-called near-Earth asteroid, is definitely in sort of a family of its own. Um, now, we don't really know why it's there. And here's actually what its orbit looks like right here. Um, and we don't really know how to explain its existence just yet, uh, but we are now certain that we're going to be discovering more and more of these asteroids that are literally uh, located within the orbit of Earth. And because we have Universe Sandbox Square, we can actually try to recreate its orbit right here, although maybe not super accurately. But that's kind of where it's located, and there's Earth for comparison right there. Um, and uh, so this implies that we may have actually discovered either a remainder of some sort of a collision with Mercury or uh, potentially a completely new class of asteroids that we haven't really seen before. And that's kind of exciting because once in a while uh, we discover something new in our solar system that we didn't really know existed before. And because of its orbit, uh, this is actually the fastest asteroid when it comes to actual speed of, or I guess velocity around the solar system. And at the same time, it's um, the obviously closest to the sun. Now, uh, the way that this was discovered is also very exciting. Uh, it was actually discovered using a tool known as ZTF. ZTF, or Zwicky Transient Facility, is this very large camera that's attached to this beautiful telescope in the Palomar Observatory. And essentially, it's a camera, or technically a CCD sensor that usually is present in digital cameras that's capable of detecting some absolutely pristine and very detailed um, parts of the sky that we were not able to see before. And this camera has already located 60 new asteroids and is going to dis discover a lot more and it only started operating um, back in March of 2018. So as uh, this particular telescope gets to see more and more of the skies, we're going to be discovering more and more asteroids. But its primary mission is actually not to look for just asteroids, but to look for those potentially dangerous asteroids that uh, could maybe one day hit Earth. And interestingly, last year it actually did get to discover two asteroids that passed by relatively close to Earth and it discovered them only a few hours before um, they passed there. Uh, the distance to Earth was about 100,000 or so kilometers, which is about a third of a distance to the Moon. And um, 
no other telescope was actually able to see them. And these two asteroids, unfortunately, didn't hit Earth, but uh, because we were able to see them and because we were able to detect them, this actually means that uh, this particular telescope might be very useful in looking for these very dangerous or potentially dangerous, but, but also very interesting asteroids known as near-Earth asteroids or potentially hazardous asteroids. But the scientists behind this particular paper uh, actually had a slightly different approach. They realized that nobody's really looking um, inside the Earth's orbit. And so they decided to actually only look for asteroids that could be coming from within Earth's orbit, uh, which is normally, well, basically our blind spot. Because for all we know, an asteroid could be actually coming from this direction, from the direction of the Sun and hit Earth right here. And we wouldn't be able to see it because telescopes normally don't really look at this direction, well, simply because the sun is out. And so, um, for the most part, we need to actually start analyzing this area a little bit better, and uh, we need to try seeing what we can discover on this side of the solar system. And anyway, on that note, that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. I wanted to talk about this new discovery, new asteroids, and potentially even a new type of asteroids that we haven't really seen before. Generally speaking, these asteroids that are located within Earth's orbit are known as the Atira asteroids, and uh, there's only about 20 or so discovered so far out of like 900,000 discoveries. That's basically nothing. And it's not that there aren't really any to discover, it's just we're not really looking. So in the future, we'll discover more, but for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow to learn something else you may have not known before. Subscribe if you still haven't, and maybe even share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn more about sciences in space. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Space out, and as always, bye bye.